Good morning to gang. It's Sunday the 3rd of September 2017 and it's pouring down with rain outside. I've just literally missed the rain. Uh, just got back. I've been to church this morning on my, and I cycled to church. I cycled to and from church on my uh, on my bicycle. And uh, very special. We had the bishop today. Bishop Philip. Bishop Philip from Portsmouth Cathedral was taking the mass today. See, the bishops go around and they visit all the little churches. It takes them about five years to do. So we kind of get one visit every five years. Now, I'm wondering, Portsmouth, is that the same diocese as on the Isle of Wight? And I think Shania and um, Gustava both were this this morning. Is, is Bishop Philip the same bishop as your Philip? Uh, so is Bishop Philip the same bishop as the one on the Isle of Wight? Or have you got someone else over there? I think you're the same diocese over there, aren't you? So that was quite nice this morning, you know, to have someone different doing it. Very nice. Very nice sermon and all that business. Um, Vivian, of course, strangely enough, it was Vivian's turn to do the readings and the bidding prayers. She was up there very proud of our Vivian. Good old Vivian was there. So that was nice. Uh, now, we can't go on too long today. OK, what's the time now? 20 past 11. 10 to 12. I must finish by 10 to 12 because we've got chips in the oven. It's kind of become a Sunday thing to have egg beef. I know it's very sad and it is. There's no roast beef here. There's no dead animals in my oven. I'm, I'll have, you know, there's no chicken, no piece of pork, nothing like that. I have uh, I've, I've got on Sundays to having egg, eggs, baked beans, chips and sometimes onions. But I haven't got any onions left now. Uh, so I'm going to have that for dinner. And the chips are in the oven now. When I say chips, they're slim as world chips. I'll show that on one of my world famous cooking shows very, very soon for you boys and girls. Oh, yes. Very popular on YouTube, my cooking shows. I'm on YouTube. Yes, of course I'm on YouTube as well. Everywhere. I'm everywhere. Everywhere. YouTube.com forward slash Chris Redden UK. Look for one of the cooking shows on there. 62 million people have watched my latest cooking show, which, kindly enough, Adam the Plumber also shared, without even being asked, to the main Slimmer's World wall. How kind is that? There's some kind people around. There really is. And thank you very much to those of you that do share my shows to your walls. Uh, it is always very much appreciated. I know Shania and Gustav, and, and Gustav as well done it this morning, haven't you? Um... So chips in the oven, OK? News on non-Irish Mary from from Ireland. Uh, she is better now. Her voice has returned. Da, 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 da. Incident, my voice has returned as well. Because the last three weeks at church, I've been unable to hit the, some of the notes in the hymns. Well, I can't get the high ones anyway. You know the really high notes, like uh, glory to God in the highest. Glory to God, glory to God in the highest. Glory to God. And my, my high one a bit. Glory to God. So I have to quieten that down. So I go... Glory to God, glory to God. Or you can go, glory to God. So you can go down. You can go down an octave. I'm sure we have one of professional, two of professional singers watching the show this morning, boys and girls. I mean, non-Irish Mary from Ireland. Her voice has returned. She will be tonight at the karaoke because it's Sunday. Sunday night is karaoke night at the Camden Eye in Camden Town. The Eye is watching and waiting for you to turn up. Are you coming tonight? Camden I karaoke tonight in Camden Town. Come out of the tube station on the, um, not on the Camden, on the Finchley Road side. Come out of there and it's there. You look across the road, there it is, the Camden Eye. You walk across the road avoiding the beggars and people trying to collect money, probably from Romania, you know, b collecting money for some higher authority, not themselves. Most of them have got money, you know. Oh, God, this is the difficulty I have with giving to um, uh, beggars. How do you know which ones are real beggars and which ones are being controlled by someone else who collects the money from them? That's the, I have a problem with beggars with that, you know? Maybe you give money. Good, good, good on you. I have great difficulty giving any money to beggars because I don't think most of them are. It's very, very difficult to tell. Isn't it terrible that people do that, eh? You know, when they're not really needing the money. they It's like a business, almost like a business. Um, so that was that. Uh, let's say hello to some of the early people this morning. Good morning to the lovely Diane. First in this morning. Good morning, Diane. Gustav says, good morning. It's our daily dose of hate and offence. That's what this is today. Hate and offence. Watching an advert from the BNP. Is it really? <laughs> oh, come on. It's not that bad, is it? For God's sake. 
Blimey, oh, there we are. Shanara and Vectis are with us this morning. Um... Let's have a look. James says, I'm in first this morning. Better be some singing. No, you're not, James. You're not in first. I think the first message I think you'll find is Diane, lovey. You've got to be a little bit quicker than that, young James, dear. She's there, love. Bang, she's there. The moment we cut, she's sitting there waiting by her mouse. Click, and she types a message, and she's first in. James, you're not first, lovey. I'm sorry, you're not. Uh, good morning to our uh, Vectis says uh, it is indeed Bishop Philip, same bishop. Yeah. So uh, he was there this morning. Have you met him before? I didn't say I mean, a lot of them queue up to shake his hand afterwards. I'm out the side door, dear. You know, mass is finished, love. I put me in book back, my prayer book back and I'm out the side door. I was talking to my friend David today, David and his lovely wife. Um, David runs the SVP, you know, it's the St. Vincent. Paul thing. He, he runs that, uh, which they've only just started in Wokenham, actually. And Shania says, yes, Bishop Philip a few years ago. Thank you, Shania. Good morning to Peter Hydes. Um, Shania says, have your lunch while talking to us. Oh, no. No, that would just be rude. I think that would be rude. Sit here. Yeah. And um, I watched casualty. Though. No, 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 no. Aren't they awful? People that talk while they're eating. I don't mind the odd sentence now and again, but they try and have a conversation and this food is flying out their mouths, getting embedded in walls and things like that. Dirty people. Dirty, dirty people. Good morning to Alexander. Uh, no pork. How Sundays have changed. No, Alexander. No pork, dear. No pork. No dead animals past these lips. Vegetarian. V-E-G-O-T-R-I-A-N. Vegetarian, that's me. Got chips in the oven, eggs and baked beans. Yes, thank you very much. Mm. Oh, and corn steaks. Corn steaks as well. I forgot those. It's a big breakfast. No, it's not. Corn burgers today. Corn classic burgers. It's it's a big meal, but part of the Slimmer's World um, uh, staple food. That's what it is, yes. Gustav says he attacked the transsexuals who liked beans and eggs and unions yesterday and fat shamed Buddha the day before. So probably he's going to attack the Scientologists today. What I don't know what Scientologists are. Are they the ones that have about 200 wives? What's all that about? Isn't one ever enough, you know? All these people having multiple partners, dear. It's outrageous. Father David wouldn't stand for any of that, Gustav. I'd like to see you down the church one day, Gustav. I think I might drag you down there one day. Get yourself smartened up. Wear some proper clothes, dear. Sing a few hymns. I can send you some over this morning if you want to. Praise my soul, the kit. Would you like that one? We love it, dear. We love it. James says, I tend to offer them a meal, some food from a nearby shop, up to them whether they want it. Yes, I've done that. I've done that, given a sandwich, you know, or a cup of tea. I mean, there's a bloke actually up in town. He's not a beggar. He um, is a nice old fella. Uh, what's his name? Bill. Bill. And he's got a portable karaoke machine, which is a little bit like a like a, a, a ghetto blaster type thing. And it's got a li tiny little LCD screen on it. And I think he uses discs and he puts it and he always sings the same song. He does a bit of Sinatra, a bit of Carpenters, I think he does, a bit of Tony Bennett, that sort of voice. He's probably about 65 years old and he sets up on a little stool in the middle of the in the middle of the street. He's got a microphone and he sings along to the songs and he says he collects the money for charity. And I've often gone into um, uh, the, uh, I think it's a Costa Coffee or something like that. I'm not keen on the tea in there. There's there's one of those, I think it is Costa Coffee actually. The tea is just horrible. Oh, it's awful. Like the, like the tea in the King's Head Theatre bar that I work. That is, I don't know what tea bags they got in there. You know, they got Ponzi tea bags. You know, the sort of thing, you know. Probably about £10 for one tea bag, And no one likes it. What's all that about? I was in... I was stuck. I was stuck in the queue at Waitrose in the cafeteria the other day. And this woman in front of us... Oh, could you tell me what different infused teas that you're serving today? I thought, oh, here we go. Can't you just ask for a cup of tea? So the woman's got... I had to go through the whole blooming list. Yeah, you know, well, we've got raspberry. Oh, I quite like, I've got the orange. Oh, maybe I should have the orange. Oh, God. Cup of tea, dear. English breakfast. Get all that other crap off the menu. Earl Grey and all that business, dear. Just get a normal cup of tea. Oh, 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 have you got the raspberry infused? Oh, please do me a favour, love. 
get behind just I bet you don't even like it. You don't even like that infused different flavoured herbal teas. That's it. Herbal teas. I bet you don't even like them, do you? You're just having it because you think it looks good in front of people. That's the reason she's having it. <laughs> Dear. Hello, Jack. Zach Thompson. Hello, Zach. Hope you're well. Good evening to Scotty Ogilvy. Hello, Scotty, who's over there in New Zealand. Russ Philip Vernon. Good morning, Russ, uh, in Yorkshire. Da, 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 da. Oh, I love that little tune. Do you know there are people alive now, Russ, who don't know what that is? There are people alive, right, who don't know what Thames Television is. Isn't that a shocker? That is a shocker. There are people that don't know what Yorkshire television is now because they're so young and it's just ITV, faceless company ago with crap programmes. I see the X Factors back. No, I did not watch it. No. Hate it. Hate it. I t I, people tell me sometimes. Actually, there's a very good friend of mine. Um, she said she was going to be on the actor. She is a, a bit of a singer herself a, 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 um, and does cabaret and all that. She said, oh, I've got something to tell you. I'm going to be on X Factors. I said, don't do it. Why not? I said, don't do it because they are set up. Just just take the mick out of people. I think it's a horrible thing. I really do. If you want to go on the telly, go on the voice. They don't take the mick there. They give constructive criticism. And if you're not that good anyway, you won't get that far. See, I don't believe if, 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 if you're not that good, why put people through the whole ordeal of, of going on there and for people to laugh at them? You know... If you're an average singer, come along to a karaoke night. I'm average. We're all average singers at karaoke nights. Some people think they're big stars at karaoke nights. Honestly, they do. No names mentioned here. I don't. I don't think I have any of them actually. And they don't tend to. <laughs> they don't come to mind. Funny that, isn't it? <laughs> we just have the fun people. That's what it's all about. Fun, fun, fun. If you are a fantastic singer, oh no, we have got some great, no, I have got, the people that come to my karaoke, I have got some fantastic singers, but they don't make a thing of it. Yeah, I'm a great singer and all that, well, there no, might be one actually, there might be one. I'm a great singer, you know, I'm the best singer here and all that. I don't really have those. I have really good singers who come up and sing their songs and then just leave the stage like really humble, humble. You have to tell them that they're a fantastic singer and I do. I do. Don't worry about that. Uh, Alexander says, well, I did not think a bit of dead meat past that filthy mouth. I once ordered cannelloni in chariots. What the hell's that? Cannelloni. What's cannelloni? What's that? Is that chopped up squid or something like that? Or octopuses? Octopus. Some people eat live mini octopuses. Have you seen that on YouTube? Ooh. I think it's a Chinese. I think it might, mm, it might be them eating um, li mini live octopuses. Oh, how awful. That thing wiggling inside you. Good morning to Adam. Morning, Adam. Oh, you've got a suit on today in that photo. That makes a change. Usually you look very scruffy. Good morning, <laughs> Good morning Adam. Um, and let's have a look. Uh, Alexander said pasta, not curry. Oh, I like pasta. I like pasta. Yeah, I do. Spaghetti and all that sort of thing. OK, so that was uh, that was my morning and I've just got back uh, and it and I've got back. I put the bike away and it just started to sprinkle down. I've chopped my chips up, put them in the oven. I came back up here, started the countdown <clears throat> uh, once I was ready. And then uh, I looked out the window and it was pouring down with rain. So that's very good. Good because my water butts are empty anyway. They are. Now, just to let you know, tomorrow there will going to be no show tomorrow because I start my brand new music and chat show. So in future on a Monday, there won't be a talk show. It will be a music and chat show, which you can listen to on DAB. If you haven't got, if you're out of the area, you can just get it online. Go to uploadradio.com. OK, I'll put a link up there tomorrow morning just before it's going to start. It's every Monday at 10 o'clock, music and chat. Let me tell you the format, OK? So... I play music. Uh, now, what's tomorrow? And the music is from all time. So you might get something from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s. There's three features every day. At a quarter past the hour, we're going to do Manilo Magic. OK, every every Monday morning at 10.15, round about 10.15, will be a Barry Manilow tune. Tomorrow's tune is I'd really like to see you tonight. 
You don't know it. You'll know it as soon as you hear it, OK? I think someone else did it before. At around about 10.30, we have the classical experience, I think I've called it. The classical experience, which is a bit of classical music. You will know the music. It's not going to be something obscure that you've probably never heard before that they play on Radio Free. It'll be a bit more like classic FM, but more popular. Maybe something like the 1812 Overture, Swan Lake. Uh, what's tomorrow's one? Tomorrow's one is Chopin, that piano concerto, which you would have heard on countless films, OK? So that's at half past. And at a quarter to, we have the Mirable Moment, which is a ballad. In between their songs and me chatting rubbish, as usual. All right? One of the stories tomorrow's show, uh, on tomorrow's show, I've got to tell you, is about uh, the Russians who have come up with a new way for you to get rid of your body when you're dead. No longer do you have to have two old blokes digging a hole to put you in there or go in a great big oven and disappear up in smoke. No, there's a new way of going, although it's going to cost you a bit of money. So that's tomorrow, OK, tomorrow on Upload Radio, which you can hear on DAB in the following areas. South London, Surrey, parts of Berkshire, Gloucestershire, Liverpool, Wrexham and Chester. All those areas will be carrying it on DAB and if you can't get it on there, easy to go online, just like you're watching this, except no picture. No picture. I know. How are you going to manage a whole day with that? Look at my pretty boy face. That's the question. <laughs> if you can't didn't live in one of those areas, it's easy to just go online, click on uploadradio.com, and there's like a listen button there. Have a, have a look now. If, you're, if you look at tomorrow's schedule, Monday at 10 o'clock, you'll see me in there. Um, and if you can't be there at 10 o'clock in the morning, simply go to that website shortly afterwards and you can do that uh, listen again, a bit like the iPlayer. Very easy. You click a button and it starts playing. OK, so that's tomorrow morning. I hope uh, I'm looking forward to that. Um, Alexander says, can you give Cooking with Kay a shout out? I will add you. She is great. Who is Cooking with Kay? Is that like a video cooking channel? I don't know what that is. Do you have pants on? Um, no, just tracksuit bottoms. You don't have to worry about the bottom half, do you? As long as it looks all right at the top. I never, ever sit here naked. Never. Never. Not with the cameras rolling anyway, boys and girls. OK. Uh, anyone see Casualty last night? That's getting exciting. One of the doctors. Oh, yes. He let a patient die. Dr. Um, Ev Evian? Even? Evan? Oh, God. What's his name? Can't remember his name now. One of the young doctor with the glasses. Anyway, the, the, the story is... A few weeks ago, uh, this bloke killed his brother, OK? And this bloke was daunting him over that fact for ages. Anyway, something happened to the bloke, right? Ended up in hospital. All the machines were going mad. Eh, 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 eh. But Ethan didn't do it. Ethan, that was it, Dr. Ethan. He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. So he let him die. But now... The bloke keeps coming back into his head and saying, you're a murderer, more, you're a murderer. And of course, the doctor's saying, no, I wasn't. I just let nature take its course. I didn't step in. But would you, would you class that as murder or not? I don't think I would. So you've got someone laying in a hospital bed. OK, they're going to die unless you do something about it. But you haven't actually done anything to put him in that hospital bed. Would that be classed as murder or not? Negligence, probably. But I don't think it would be classed as murder. What do you think? Put a message on there, OK? Adam says, are you doing the show from a spare room in your house? No, this is a purpose-built United Kingdom talk television complex, Adam. Did you not know that, lovey? This is this is a special building in Royal Buck. We've got studios all over this building. I'm in the main studio, Studio A1 of the United Kingdom Talk Television Complex. I thought you knew that. I thought it was pretty obvious. Spare room in the bedroom. What with this? Have you got this in your bedroom? You got something like this in your bedroom? Don't be so stupid, dear. God's sake, man. All equipment everywhere. Look, look, look. Well, hang on. Look, all equipment. All equipment. Look, all equipment. You got that in your bedroom? Does that look like a bedroom to you? I don't think so, lovey. Bedroom, spare bedroom. I've heard it all now, dear. I mean, I'm offended. I'm more offended than a Catholic when you so done Catholic jokes. I am offended, dear. Becky says, I thought men of your age had to worry about their bottom half. No, not really. It's still functioning perfectly all right. Thank you very much. Don't, don't, don't bring up yourself. 
Don't try and put your own problems onto mine. You know, if you've got a little problem down there, go and see the doctor. Go and see the doctor. Although sometimes they look at you and it's too far gone, mate. Nothing I can do for you. Russ says, is the Uplive radio show an hour long? Correct, Russ. Yes, it's exactly an hour long. It's actually in two 29-minute sections. Two 29-minute sections, all right? I hope you enjoy it tomorrow. Um, please uh, send in your little messages on, on feedback or something like that, okay? I would be um, uh, appreciate. There might be something you don't like about it. Oh, oh, I like the show, but I don't like the classical bit in the middle. I'm, I, I'll, I'll listen and go with a majority decision, as you have to do in elections, you know? Good old Theresa May, she's hanging on in there. She wants to go again, doesn't she? I don't know if she's going to be... I quite like her. I can't lie to you. I do like her. That manifesto they bought out. Jesus Christ. That killed them stone dead, didn't it? Who The person who wrote that should be sacked. Sacked. God's sake, man. What a disaster that was. That manifesto. <laughs> Dear. Adam says, what a mess. What, the studio? This is not a mess. How is this a mess? Where's the mess? Look. Tidy, dear. Tidy. These are, this is all the paperwork that keeps building up. A little little section here of paperwork and stuff there. And it builds up very quickly. And I have to deal with it. I'm going to have to do that before I go on holiday, actually. Uh, next week, while I'm away on holiday, I don't know when or if I'll be with you. Depends on the Wi-Fi there and all that sort of thing. Um, don't know if some of it will be live or recorded or just recorded. or just, Don't know. I never know. But um, as always, gang, if you just click the uh, follow button or subscribe somewhere, you'll know when, when I'm on and uh, when I'm not on, OK? Um, <laughs> Gustav says he's long as fine as he puts a pad down. Are you talking about um, Vectis? Are you? <laughs> Good morning to John Springate, famous international cabaret artist and pop star from the 1990s, 80s, 70s, 60s and possibly 50s as well. I'm not quite sure of your uh, uh, age yet, John. Have you got your winter fuel payment yet, lovey? You get <laughs> is it, Has that arrived yet? Oh, I've got, I got a letter here from the uh, doctor telling me I'm eligible, as always, for this year's flu injection. Psst, oh, I hate needles. Oh, I had one the other day, actually, and I made the mistake of looking round at the nurse and seeing the needle before it went in my arm. It was that long, dear. Oh, I hate needles. How do druggies do it? They sit there jacking up, don't they? Oh, God, no. There's a lot of that goes on, you know. People injecting drugs into themselves and that. Oh, I couldn't do it. I've got to help, God help me. If I ever become diabetic, I'll probably just die because I won't be able to stick the needle in my arm. Awful, awful. Adam says, do I need a cleaner? I'm available. No, I'm not having red, I'm not having people around here, dear. No, not having people around here, I'm afraid. God's sake, are you mad? They start creating mess and things, dear. And they move things. I've had a cleaner before and they blooming move things. Now, where have I put that pen? That was that. And you know the pen was in a massive pile of papers on the table next to the next to two cups that have been used and a half eaten pizza box. Where's the pen gone? Hello, is that the cleaner? Yeah, well, oh, I've put it away in the drawer. Oh, God's sake. No, I'm not having anyone round here, dear. No, I rarely have anyone here. My mate Ronnie comes round here. Yeah, I manage about 20 minutes with him and then I want him to go. It's too much. It's too much to do. Can I get back to the story? So the doctor, do you think he's a murderer or not? Would the doctor be classed as a murderer if there's someone dying in a hospital bed and he doesn't step in to save them? Anyway, I don't think he's a murderer at all. Uh, I was very pleased to see that ghastly... Um, there's two people I can't stand in casualty. Number one, David. Do you know David? Oh, he's... Just annoying, 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 annoying. David, friend of Dr. Keo. And Jacob, he's the one with the muscles. I can't bear him. Walks around like he's like, you know, yeah, all right, mate, like the alpha male. Who do you think you are, dear? You're just a nurse. Just a nurse. Not that nurses have got to, uh, uh, should be demeaned in any way, shape or form. They do a very important job. But he walks around like he's like in charge of everything. Good morning, Russell. Russell there. Look, I used to work for him. Russell. OK. Um, Vector says, I could do with a cleaner. Are you free? Now, I'm not cleaning. I hate cleaning. Now and again, 
every few years I dampen a cloth and I run it above things, like perhaps above uh, the clock there, you know. <laughs> have you noticed how my sneezing seems to have stopped? That's, I hate to say it, it's... Hello, Chris Bedwell, famous photographer. You want any photographers take, photographs taken? Chris Bedwell, click on his link there and have a look at his Facebook page. I'm sure you'll find a link or two. Put a link on my wall, Chris. If you want a wedding done, photographs, anything like that, that's the man, Chris Bedwell, OK? Get on to him. My God, it's a quarter to 12. How did that happen? My chips will be getting... <laughs> Go so quick when I'm talking to you. Can't believe it. I haven't got halfway through this, so I can't stand da Jacob or David uh, who are in casualty. I don't know. Um, good. So I've told you about everything else that's happening next week. Let's do some of the uh, stories now. I uh, do. Are you a uh, a person who recycles your um, waste and all that? Because I've got two stories from the Daily Mirror. This morning, my God, how I've swung to the left this morning. We're swinging to the left this morning. Bin lorries, bin lorries, check this. Cameras are now being put on bin lorries to try and catch out residents. Isn't it awful that, that these councils are just awful? Boston Borough Council, now that's near my sister. Boston's up north. That's where I'm going tomorrow to spend uh, just only three nights up uh, up near my sister's house. I've got a nice rented caravan at a place called Willow Holt. W i w l o w h o. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Dear me. <laughs> you never hear a new newsreader do that. Willow Holt, um, which is in uh, Lincolnshire, uh, and Boston is near there. Boston Borough Council is just one which has installed the surveillance equipment on its fleet of uh, lorries. And some authorities across the country have as many as seven cameras per truck monitoring every angle. So how does that work? Can they, do they actually see what's coming out the bins when it's, when it's disappeared? That's awful, isn't it? Footage has uh, the spy cameras are be aimed at minimising false claims for damages or injuries supposedly caused by the trucks. What, what you mean if, if like, someone has climbed into a bin and it's ac accidentally been collected and chucked into the back of the machine? <laughs> uh, damages or injuries supposedly caused by the trucks as well as meddling dis uh, mediated disputes between residents and binmen and reducing f fraudulent insurance claims following accidents. Well, what accidents can you have with a bin lorry? You're not anywhere near it, are you? Well, you shouldn't be anyway. You see, th this is the thing with like bin lorries. You know, they come, they collect your bins, and that's it. You've got no reason to be around that bin lorry. Have you? Now, so if anyone gets hurt by one of these bin lorries, I'm sorry, it's your fault for blooming well being in the way. How stupid can you be to stand near a bin lorry? But people are like that, aren't they? You've seen them crossing the road. They step out into the road with the earphones on, and then they just look at you, hoping that you will stop. They're just stupid people. In one case, Boston Council used the camera to discover a man was putting hypodermic needles in his rubbish and he was later filmed swearing and threatening binmen. Um, OK, I don't know anything about needles, but where do you put them then? I, I, would, I must admit, if I was using hypodermic needle, needles, is, is that... Um, is that what you use for the dive as well as drug taking? But I mean, would you use that a hypodermic needle for di diabetes injections? I don't know. Well, what do you do with them then? I always thought you put them in the bin because they will get crushed up and then buried somewhere, don't they? Anyway, this bloke pleaded guilty at Lincoln Magistrates Court at the end of July uh, to possessing an offensive weapon and using threatening abuse. I see. So, oh, oh, so the cameras are for that. I understand that. It says, with multiple complaints each year over missed collections, the length of time between collections and poor service, residents are growing increasingly frustrated and the cameras are being used as an attempt to disprove some complaints, such as bins not being collected. Ah, oh, right, OK, so they're not actually looking in the bins, are they? Um... Some of the shocking re revelations a report uncovered because uh, there was a report called Lifting Lid on Bin Complaints, was one woman had to resort to phoning her council every fortnight for three months before her rubbish was collected. It's dreadful, isn't it? 
just dreadful. So I don't think they're looking at what's going in your bins. I mean, it's, it's blooming things, isn't it? Uh, Lisa says you're supposed to use a sharps box for needles and things. Oh, I didn't even know that. I did not know that. Thank you very much, Lisa. Uh, there we are. Chris has sent a little link on his uh, thing there. Thank you very much. Gustav is uh, telling me my chips might be ready now. And Vector says it only seems like an hour and a half. Thank you very much. Oh, Chris Bedwell. He's, he's got a radio show on as well now. Look at that. Chris, Chris, is that now at this very moment, Chris? Is that at this very moment? If it is, put a link on my wall again. And um, that's it. All right. I did say it was going to be only a little short show this morning, boys and girls. Uh, just the birthdays to do. And then I'm going to have my uh, dinner. All right. Scott Lewis. Happy birthday to Scott Lewis this morning. Um, Justin Anderson. Happy birthday, Justin. Uh, is, is it Justin Left Eye? I think it's Justin Left Eye. He used to come along to the Black Cap. He's a great lad. He is. Uh, happy birthday, Justin. Uh, Chevron Anderson is 32 years old today. Uh, Philip Reardon. Uh, my namesake, Philip Reardon. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to Anne Duffy, a, a wonderful 60 years old. Happy birthday, Anne. Magoo Zer. I love that song. Magoo Zer. What a great name. Uh, Nuno Rodriguez Payo is 40 years old today. You don't look 40. And finally, Neil Wolfson. It's his birthday as well today. So here comes the song, gang. Here comes the song. A lot of names to fit in here. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Scott, Justin, Chevron, Philip, and Magoo, Nuno, and Neil. Happy birthday to you. Uh, my friend who played that on the piano, that's that's Carl Waring. He, he sent that to me some years ago, and I always use that uh, for the birthdays. I may have to ask him to, perhaps we could have a little, an extended bit somewhere where it goes, happy birthday, dear. That bit there. Duh, duh. Perhaps he could do, duh, 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 to extend it a bit so I can fit in all the names, because I can't get them all in. All right, that's it today then, boys and girls. Don't forget, no chat show tomorrow. Uh, it's a music and chat show at 10 o'clock on uploadradio.com. Have a look around there. There's all sorts of different shows on there. It's a wonderful idea, that station. It's the first um, DAB station in this country that's doing that sort of thing, OK? So Upload Radio tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Either listen on DAB or online by going to uploadradio.com. Uh, finally, boys and girls, join us for karaoke tonight. It's at the Camden Eye. Karaoke every Sunday at the Camden Eye. Starts at 8 o'clock and finishes around about 10.45 and uh, come and sing. Mary's better. She'll be down to sing for you tomorrow. Have a nice Sunday. It's time for my chips. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.